back. Two hotheads where activism happens on Unregular Radio. Uh, we have the lovely Alex Arsenal here in the studio with me. And you. And you were just asking before we were on the yeah, air. Before, you can, yeah, can I say that he's your significant other? Your yeah, boyfriend? I mean, yeah, dude. I don't, well, think it's a, it. I don't think it's a secret. It happened now, right? <laughs> I did. The word's out. Drug Policy Forum <laughs> of Massachusetts. That's the market, ladies. <laughs> yeah, the Drug Policy Forum of Massachusetts. Alex Arsenault. Yep. Well, um, Alex, you're, you've uh, collected a lot of signatures the last couple of years. Yes. For actually longer than a couple of years, right? A couple of years. All right. A couple of years. Since and, 2008. Uh, how many were you uh, doing this year for marijuana legalization in Massachusetts? Well, we collected quite a few signatures for the Medical Marijuana Initiative, which I was helping manage the petition drive of. Um, during that, uh, God, how many did I collect for the marijuana public policy questions? Probably about... 8,000 signatures for that question. So medical and then PPQs. And then the, the PPQs, PPQs for we legal. collected about 5,000 signatures for the PPQs. Awesome. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Out of control. Good. Not to mention if you were to include all of the signatures collected for Gary Johnson. Oh, yeah. I collected about 8,000 signatures for <laughs> Gary Johnson. <yeah. laughs> 8,000 yeah. in Massachusetts? We up. Yeah. Massachusetts. Uh, Were Democrats <laughs> signing it? <laughs> yep. 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 Yeah, everyone was signing it. All Residents' kinds of hands were, were aching it. by people the end of this. Care. <laughs> people don't care what the politician is. People just sign <laughs> stuff. Good. Good. <laughs> Especially for Gary. Yep. <laughs> we, we got him on the ballot, right? Yes. He's Gary on the ballot Johnson, in Massachusetts. Yep. Judge Jim Gray, you can vote for them. Yeah, I put him on the ballot in New Hampshire and Rhode Island as well. Awesome. Yep. I got signatures for him in some other states. Now, too. were you more or less successful in Rhode Island? About the same as Massachusetts. New Hampshire was hard. New oh, Hampshire yeah, that's right. You were, yeah, yeah, tell me about why do you think New Hampshire was more difficult? New Hampshire's very polarized. There's a lot of Republicans out there that don't want a libertarian on the ballot. They look at Gary Johnson like we, like Democrats looked at Ralph Nader in 2000. Competition. You know, yeah, they see him as a spoiler for Romney. So a lot, of the, a lot of the Republicans out there know about libertarians and know they don't want him on the ballot. Um, because, you know, he's going to take votes away with, you know, Ron Paul. People might break towards Gary Johnson. There's a lot of libertarian leading Republicans I could vote for Gary Johnson instead of Mitt Romney, and that could cost you know that could cost them the state. Yep, definitely. Yep. And um, wh- then that and that is the battleground state. New Hampshire is yep. uh, mm-hmm. is one of those states yep, that big, everybody knows mm-hmm. that up there. They're educated. They know that this this could be the election in New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. Could Unlike be. Massachusetts, that's what I tell my Massachusetts friends. I was just talking to one the other day. He was talking about voting for Obama. And uh, I talked about Gary Johnson and Jill Stein and why he should consider them. And, and he said, oh, I can't let Romney win. And I said, what? You, you live in Massachusetts. Romney <laughs> cannot lose a state. And then once I brought that up, because this man's an this educated <laughs> man, actually. This is a, an, an influence leader in the commu- in a business community in the city of Boston. This person could actually run for office. This person I brought it up to, he's an educated person. But he hadn't thought of that. And when I brought it up, it just the light bulb went off in his head. So... We have to remind people, if you're in certain states like Massachusetts, third party is the only way to vote. It's true. Obama, any Democrat will always get the Electoral it's College true. in If Obama loses mass, he's losing for, everywhere. I'm probably going to vote for Jill Stein, to be quite honest. Yeah, let's yeah. hear it for that. We got applause for that? Yeah, let's, I was actually talking. Johnson. Yes. I'm voting yes. for Jill Stein. Good. I'm def- I, I mean, I, I, I'm not indefinite, but I, yeah. I pretty much am. I, I think I was actually talking about it with my friend last night. We were discussing. I mean, I I clearly agree with her. I'm pretty much, I would say, 80 And a vote for Jill Stein counts. You know why? Yep. Because we want to get into that, too. I mean, we can talk about, we're going to talk about what's going on at the Freedom Rally with the yep. signature gathering. But let's get into more reasons why you should vote third party. If they get to 5%, if Gary Johnson or Jill Stein get to 5%, and I'm going to say it even more, the importance, if you really look at it, you know, I would... Throw out. Let's vote for Vermin Supreme and Roseanne Barr right. and write in Ron Paul. Those are great ideas. But if you actually want your vote to count, Jill Stein and Gary Johnson, because if they mm-hmm. get to five percent, what do they get? They get. A, they get to be in the debate. Well, I mean, no, not I mean, the not debate. Federal they, they, they get, get federal, federal funding, funding yeah. for the next election. For the next, we election. have we have a true third party that has money. We need that. Yep. We That's kind of lost that. The Libertarians had that for a little while, and it seems to have gone away. There's a lot of money at stake if we get 5%. Mm. And Gary Johnson and Jill Stein are, are pretty damn close. Uh, Gary's polled at like 8%, 9%. So, What's Jill po- po- uh, polling at? I think she's 1 to 5, somewhere in that range. You know, she, She's almost there. Like you know, These two parties with these two candidates, they're strong candidates. Right. And each in their own way. So got to support them. 
Uh, we're going to have uh, the vice presidential candidate, like we said, Judge Jim Gray, will be at the Freedom Rally next week. Mm-hmm. But also at the Freedom Rally next week is Alex is going to be doing... Actually, you tell you tell them what you're doing. What are you doing at the Freedom Rally next week? Me and the rest of the Drug Policy Forum of Massachusetts are going to be organizing a voter registration drive of this year's Freedom Rally. Um, essentially, we're going to be running five tables across the event just registering voters you know we got to get people say oh it doesn't matter who you vote for mass obama's going to win it does matter we got question three coming up third parties we can vote for we got a couple other ballot initiatives that are very important as well um we don't need to go into all those right now we got a senate race that's very close there's a lot going on in massachusetts that needs to be voted on there's gonna be a lot of people at the freedom rally a lot of young voters that don't tend to turn out a lot that need to be registered to vote you know especially in our demographic we got to get the very pro marijuana people registered to vote so not only do they vote they bring their friends to vote they tell their friends to vote they need to understand how important it is to vote this year because question three is on the ballot everyone at the freedom rally has a stake in this year's election we need everyone to come out and vote yeah this presidential election as i said but especially for question three medical marijuana and those ppqs those public policy questions for legalization i believe where i live in cambridge i'll be getting a vote on yes you will legalization and medical marijuana and the president I wouldn't miss that day in the world and it's if you're true. not yeah. registered you better get registered that day make sure your voice counts they want you not to vote when you vote that's what the the the, 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 the leaders are afraid of so we need to vote we need to come out and uh, I, I want to have as Heather said I want to ha- we have our table we have our spot at the Freedom Rally I want to make sure that we have those voter registration yep forms and if you could send someone over we need volunteers i need some help because i'm going to be doing video heather's going to be performing i'm speaking we need people to work at our table too and collect signatures at our table because we want someone working that table for us yep so we're not selling a bunch of stuff we're 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 doing activism at our table we're getting the word out on on interactivism we're going to be talking to you and and interviewing people and doing all that stuff i actually wanted i you reminded me of a quote i just read a david foster wallace quote um about voting so just to get you guys you know everyone listening i've i've had so many arguments with people about whether or not to, voting is important and, and whether their vote really counts and what, you know, what it's, if voting really changed anything, they'd make it illegal, right? That's the whole argument. But this is a great quote. If you are bored and disgusted by politics and don't bother to vote, you are in effect voting for the entrenched establishments of the two major parties who, please rest assured, are not dumb and who are keenly aware that it is in their interest to keep you disgusted and bored and cynical and to give you every possible reason to stay at home doing one-hitters and watching MTV on primary day. By all means, stay home if you want, but don't bullshit yourself that you're not voting. In reality, there is no such thing as not voting. You either vote by voting or you vote by staying home and tacitly doubling the value of some diehards vote yeah right. you can't get out of it you know there's a you're here so you got to do something about it. this is a democracy your vote does matter how many That's signatures are you hoping to i mean not signatures i'm saying signatures that was the old campaign how many people can we register to vote that day at the freedom rally it all Thank depends how many people we have coming out to help you know sky's the limit there's gonna be tens of thousands of people at the freedom rally and can we make like a commitment like some sort of you know Let's make let's let's put a number on it. How many do you think? It, it all depends how many people. Let's go many for a thousand. There. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It yeah. all depends how many people we get out there to vote, and that's what I'm here to say today. Is that I need people coming out, not just to register to vote at this year's Freedom Rally. I need people coming out to help me help Collect the, the drug policy form of Massachusetts register people yeah. to vote at this year's Freedom Rally. And I need your yeah, help. Yeah, need we need help. we need people to do the work sky's the limit we could register a thousand people to vote we could register a hundred people to vote it's all going to depend how many people we get to come out and help us actually register voters if you are available during the freedom rally i'm sure you're going to be there if you feel like taking some time out of your day we're going to be there 11 to 5 p.m registering voters our main tent's going to be set up up on monument hill on the tremont street side of monument hill for those of you who are less familiar with the common monument hills a giant hill that's overlooking this main stage where, where everyone's the up big there cloud smoking. Of smoke goes yeah. up it's at a big hill that everyone's smoking on there's a big stone <laughs> monument on top we're going to have shifts 11 to 2 and 2 to 5, but even if you don't got to conform to those shifts, we just need you to come help out for a few hours. We're going to have a tent set up there with a table with big register to vote signs on it, and we're going to have five other tables stationed across the Freedom Rally. Just please come up to that, come up to that booth. 
volunteer. volunteer your time. We'll get you to a table. We'll get you with some other activists, and we'll just get people to register to vote. That's all we need. Um, if you are interested in coming out, if you're out there listening and this sounds like something you want to do, I mean, this is where activism happens after all, the two hotheads, and this is your chance to really make some activism happen, please email me at alex at taxcannabis.org. Awesome. I know you're scrambling for your pen, so I'm going to say that again. It's <laughs> alex at taxcannabis.org, or just try to remember it really simple. My name, alex at taxcannabis.org, because that's what we've got to do at the end of the day. After we vote on question three, after we legalize marijuana in Massachusetts in the near future, alex at taxcannabis.org. Let me know when you could come by. Just send me your contact information. I'll get in touch with you. I'll get you set up. And also post on the Facebook page and get in touch with us. Blah, blah, blah. Get yeah. in touch with us, with us that way. Yeah, you could post on the Two Hotheads Facebook page too. Say you want to help. I'll get in touch with you from there. I've got a Facebook page. <laughs> we really just need you. We uh, we could register as many people to vote as possible for everyone that shows up. If you show up, we'll have something for you to do because there's no end to the number of people that need to be registered to vote at this year's Freedom Rally. So please send me an email. Let me know your contact information. Let me know when you could come by. I'll be in touch with you. I'll get you set up. Tabling is a great way to meet people. It's a great way to have a lot of fun at the event. You interact with just hundreds of people, the entire crowd. You're talking to everyone. Everyone's having a good time, and you're doing a good thing. for every. You're providing a service for every single person you're talking to that day. You're providing them the opportunity to register to vote and participate in this year's election and that's a service that no one is upset to be provided and that is such exactly. a great thing to have people registered yes and voting and engage at a younger age i mean that's really what we're that's what's so great about this boston freedom rally that it is a younger demographic you get them registered they're more likely to be involved and start voting at an earlier age and that's what we need. And in if this you world. do voter registration, it's also a great way to get. I mean, the, the voter registration is is really powerful in terms of if you're an organization like SSDP or you know Emerson or, or like you know different different colleges, the CRC. You can you can get people registered to vote and bring your organization together. It's an awesome organizing project. So if any of you, especially like students, if you're interested in getting involved in drug law reform, this is a great first step. You're going to meet. Tons of people who have been doing this for years. You're going to get tapped into what they're doing and to their networks and to all the fun that we have and the shit we get done. So, you know, I think it's I, I remember that was, you know, one of the first political campaign type of things that I got involved in. And uh, and I'm, I think it's really important, especially when you're just starting out in activism. That's that's it. This is it. This is a, you couldn't pick a more important job at the Freedom Rally. Yeah, America. and you couldn't pick an easier job either because you don't have to know anything. Yeah. You don't have to tell people about a politician. You don't have to tell people about a ballot question. You don't have to answer any questions. All you got to do, are you registered to vote? Here you go. Fill out a voter registration form. That's it. It's the easiest thing to do in the world, and everyone's happy to do it. And you're empowering people. Yep. At, at this great event. I mean, how many? Let's try to get thousands and thousands of people registered. And sky's as Alex is saying, that the, the sky's the limit, and the the way to do it is people need to come down and volunteer an hour or two. You're going to be there five, six hours. You can't work an hour or two. Seriously, I know exactly. you're you can't be meet some fun. good people. Yeah, an hour, any amount of time is worth a lot. You could register five, ten voters in an hour. That's five, ten people that might not have voted for question three, might not have voted for whatever candidate you support, might not have voted for any number of issues. I want to see so many year. people doing this that we have like five people in our little tent. I hope area. so. Yeah, yeah we definitely. just have like a, a crew of people collecting all day. Yep. So if we you want to do it with the yeah with we're, two hotheads. You can do it, you know, with Unregular Radio, too, is going to have some stuff set up at their booth. I mean... We'll be right across from uh, High Times. We're, like, at the bottom of the hill. Perfect. Monument, you know, so we're close by. And we're, at like, the intersection, you know, uh, across Good. from Relief and 1,000 Watts, so... Mm. And the at. last time we were doing a big voter registration drive like this, you know, I was doing it four years ago when we were about to legalize or decriminalize marijuana in Massachusetts. And we, you know, part of, I think, definitely the success of, of de decrim in 2008 and, and the percentage points that it got was a big voter registration. New push. voters. Yeah, it was new voters that were motivated to vote either for Barack Obama or for... You know, from more yeah, and I think it was underreported by the media big yeah. time. I think everyone assumed because Massachusetts is a Democrat that it was about Barack Obama. In reality, it was more about decrim. He yeah. decrim did yeah, much it's, better, it's, had a bigger win by a bigger spread 
than Barack Obama in it's Massachusetts. True. So, yeah. And a lot of people say, I mean, the, Dem- the Democrats owe a lot to, uh, you know, voters who go out to vote for these types of initiatives, um, you know, that brings more, you know, typically liberal voters out mm-hmm. to the polls. And we need so to get They that should going. be thanking us. You know, Obama should be uh, doing a lot more to... Uh, you know, to show respect to that and yeah. to this voter demographic. But I, yeah, I want to. I'm glad you brought that up because I want to bring it back to that. Like, right? Pe- we can't like like Obama can't rest on his laurels. We can't let rest on our laurels. In 2008, I saw people getting registered, getting involved, sending me texts. People that were not political people that were friends of mine, like hip hop artists. They were promoting vote on question two, get registered. Next week's the deadline. It, they, they were campaigning as citizens for this question too every single day that's what we need to do again yeah. I know that we got this it was a first time thing it was shocking and now a lot of people think that oh, this enough. question three is just going to happen no matter what and we're going to get legal no but matter it's, what there's a big difference and the reason why we can push for question three now is because of how well we did on question two there's a big difference between a 50 Three percent win and a sixty-five percent win. If we get medical to be, you know, an over sixty percent win, then which I think we can, then we can successfully really argue for legal in twenty sixteen. the money, but we need to people. get to medical first, and we need to prove that people are going to go out and vote for it. So you need to make this happen. You need to be down at the Freedom Rally, finding Alex Arsenault at his tent. For the Drug Policy Forum of Massachusetts, email him at alex at taxcannabis.org. Get active. This is the time. You have one day. Next Saturday, this time, be doing something. Let yeah, me know. Don't be posting about it on Facebook. There. You know? Go out in, in your real, you know, in your in your in your plain clothes and walk around and do something. And if you post it something <laughs> on Facebook, post it to a friend that you're actually trying to get to go down with you and make plans to do this. Exactly. Do this next Saturday. You know you're going to be at the Freedom Rally. Yep. Come find Alex for an hour. (laughs) All right.